Plus, one of America's favorite moms from the Brady Bunch, Florence Henderson. And Vicki Lawrence's best friend, Mama. And now, your host for more classic TV bloopers, Dick Clark. Thank you very, very much. You know, the last time we did a classic uh, all-time great whatever the devil we called it, bloopers, I mean, the stuff from the file, it, it was a tremendous reaction. But you know the problem? We have so many great bloopers from the last 20 years, we couldn't cram them all into one show, so we have another one for you tonight. These are gems. These are things I think will give you a good laugh. Like this first one. Take a look. Now, this is from the series Happy Days. And that, of course, is uh, Ron Howard, who played Richie Cunningham, and he's greeted by the beautiful lady at the door. Now, as you'll see, this is a practical joke the cast is playing on Fonzie. Right now, here comes Anson Williams, who played the Potsy on the show, and he, too, is welcomed inside by the pretty young woman, and uh, in he goes. Now, next to arrive is Ralph Mel, played by Donnie Most, and he's gonna get the same smiling welcome as his buddies. Now here's the punchline played by the cast on Henry Winkler. Let's see what happens to the Fonz. <laughs> Look at Henry's reaction. Now, this is a great blooper from, uh, remember the show Mad About You with Paul Reiser and Helen Hunt? Now, in this scene, Paul keeps changing his scripted punchline. He's supposed to be suggesting a slogan for his character, Paul Buckman's new company, but nobody knows what he's gonna say next, including Paul. <laughs> okay, here you go, here you go. Buckman, when you look in the mirror and there's no one there, what do you think happened? <laughs> now watch Helen Hunt. <laughs> now Paul sees Helen's taking a drink, so he tries to break her okay. up. This time, Helen okay. doesn't take okay. the drink. Here you go. <laughs> 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 I'm not even on me. Here we go. Yeah. All right. don't, don't look at it. Right? I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Helen's wiping her tears away, and Paul knows he's got her. We all remember the great series, Taxi. Now, in this blooper, Danny DeVito's uh, doing a scene with a veteran character actor, a fellow named Louis Gus. Now, Louis had a great face uh, with sort of a, I don't know what you call it, a hangdog expression. And Danny, Danny can't look at him and keep a straight face. What? When Maxie started driving, <laughs> the George Washington Bridge was dental work. <laughs> Look at it in this way. You're not really old. You're not really old. You're just middle-aged. Forever. Ah, uh, but look, look at it. Look at it in this way, Max. You're not really old. Look at it in this way, Max. You're not really old. You're just middle-aged for a <laughs> Hey, there are lots more to come, so don't go away. Coming up next, Mrs. Brady shows us classic bloopers from Three's Company, Mork and Mindy, Facts of Life, and much, much more. Contact a Remax agent to help you buy or sell a home, you expect service that's a little out of the ordinary. After all, Remax agents average more experience and more sales than other agents. So the next time you need outstanding real estate service, call Remax and watch a spring into action. Remax, outstanding agents, outstanding results. Hey, I uh, lowered my cholesterol. All right. Hello, my cholesterol's down. Hey guys, I lowered my cholesterol. 
In case you haven't already heard the news, Honey Nut Cheerios can help lower your cholesterol as part of a heart-healthy diet. And with its sweet honey taste, that ought to make you really happy. I uh, can lower my cholesterol. Honey Nut Cheerios. Be happy, be healthy. Your home, your ideas, and the freedom to express them. At Lowe's, we make it easy. Only Lowe's has American tradition paint with one coat coverage. Colors so authentic, the National Trust uses it to restore some of the country's historical treasures. And with Lowe's color matching, you can paint your home the green of your daughter's size. And at Lowe's, we have low prices every day, guaranteed. That's our promise. Use your Lowe's card and pay nothing for six months on purchases of $299 or more. Who makes salads fresh all day, every day with luscious mandarin oranges, juicy chicken, ripe grape tomatoes, grated cheese, sliced almonds, and roasted pecans on beds of fresh greens? Wendy's, of course. It's better here. I'm a player in the National Football League. But that is not who I am. I'm a member of a community. Dedicated to making a, dedicated to making a, a difference, difference in people's lives. lives. I'm a player in the National Football League. We all have questions about the war. What you see can be confusing. Sunday, in a special edition, Good Morning America takes your questions and gives you the answers you need. Bloopers get even funnier when you know the inside story behind exactly what happened. So uh, let's go to somebody who knows the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, Florence Henderson. Thank you, dear. You know, I will always be grateful that part of my career took place in the 70s. It was such a wonderful time for quality entertainment, especially on TV. This segment should bring back lots of memories because we've come across some very special outtakes from some of the decade's most popular shows, moments we were never meant to see. Like this one from the hit series Three's Company. It features Joyce DeWitt and a slightly bewildered John Ritter. Hi, Jack. Hi. What's your two? Oh, I'm studying Spanish. I found out that a friend of mine took it and, and he got a job cooking on a cruise ship after he learned how to, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now one of the biggest shows of the 70s was The Incredible Hulk, starring that dear man, Bill Bixby. Bill was an actor with an outstanding sense of humor, as these outtakes show. Let me see your other one. When it crashed through the door, your left arm got... It's half healed. I know. It's one of the characteristics of a metamorphosis, of my metamorphoses. I've seen other metamorphoses. <laughs> so I turned into a banana once. Now, Florence, here's Bill wearing a hard hat, or trying to wear a hard hat. <laughs> no, 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 please. I, uh, I, I've, I've read about, um... Well, a related area. Bill is struggling because he's trying to remember the words autoimmune system. Which is, uh, well, the, it suggests the possibility of controlling the auto, uh, mobile club of America. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You know, the Incredible Hulk would often deal with important social issues like domestic violence. In this scene, the script calls for Bill to talk about a husband who is a wife beater. And we see that even during a serious moment like this, a blooper can strike. Stop it. Jack is a good man. He's also an egg beater. <laughs> that makes him very dangerous. Sometimes, as an actor, you get called on to deliver a phrase you've been saying all your life, and somehow, you still mess it up. Well, that's what happened to Pam Dauber in this scene from Mork and Mindy. Oh, Mork, Dad's right. It's not the thought, it's the gift that counts. 
a girl after my own heart. Now, if the show is called Mork and Mindy, the names of the title character should be a snap, right? Just ask Conrad Janis. Oh, hello, Daddy. Hi, honey. Uh, listen, I hate to barge in like this, oh. but Mork, Mork, oh. <laughs> He wants me to start from scratch. In this scene, Charlotte Ray is supposed to say, let the story do the talking for you. Joe, if you're having a problem with Mr. Gideon, go and talk to him about it. What's the point? He doesn't listen to me anyway. Then write that new story he asked for. Let that do the walking for you. Uh, talking for you. <laughs> Now, when it comes to comedy, there is nobody more professional than B. Arthur. Well, here's a classic blooper from Maud featuring B. and Rue McClanahan. B's trouble begins with the words, under certain circumstances. But being the pro that B is, she keeps right on going. You see, Vivian, under circum circumstances, <laughs> a young man falls for the for the sensual maturity of a ravishing older woman. Would you like to try that one more yes. time? Yes! Oh, no. By the way, there are a couple of bloopers that the research staff discovered at the last minute. And in the spirit of fair play, I feel compelled to show them to you. They feature a certain blonde actress you just might recognize. <laughs> Delicate inside, juicy. Excuse me, don't report me. This is Brady Swears. <laughs> Will humming, humming help your tennis game? <laughs> it struck me funny. Um, will humming help my tennis game? Sure, why not? It takes um, your mind off your balls or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you at the beginning, these bloopers were never meant to be seen. By the way, those are the only two bloopers I've ever committed. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Until they dig up some more. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Florence. And now here's some classic bloopers from a classic game show, the original newlywed game. What your husband say is the biggest gripe that you have about his romantic technique? There isn't any gripe. I gotta have a gripe. Oh, you gotta have a gripe. Yes. <clears throat> it's not long enough. This yes. No, I didn't mean that. A while back, I had a rubber spider, and I put it in the shower. You put a rubber spider in the shower? She hates spiders. What happened? She came running back out. This was before we were married. <laughs> <laughs> if your husband's last girlfriend called him on the phone and said, meet me, you know where. Philip said that he would meet, he would meet this girl at a motel. What yes. motel? <laughs> Hey, you know, what, I'm motel? Know. what motel? <laughs> what motel? <laughs> you got your dirty nurse saying you gonna meet somebody at a motel. <laughs> it best to be me. Ju jump it in is. there, Philip, and talk when you it want to. You, it is you, but is this the question, you know? I don't care if it is a question. Where's your dirty mind at? You better not be nobody at a motel. <laughs> You best to give it all to me and nobody else but me. Is she still a jackpot, Philip? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did your wife complete this sentence? She said, my husband is a closet what? Charlie? <laughs> closet freak. Closet freak. Hang on, Charlie. She said, you're a... Let me see. <laughs> oh, oh. Does it work? Do they know? Oh, this is it. This is it. 
Yeah. We were married four months, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, get out while you can. Think of our son. What son? <laughs> that's only the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot more still to go. Come on back. Coming up, President Clinton, Carol Burnett, and Oprah. <laughs> How do the Keebler Elves make their fudge shop fudge so enchantingly irresistible? Elfin magic, of course. Oops. Soulmates. Buddies. Your better half. You just aren't you without them. Like coffee's not coffee without coffee made. So smooth, so velvety, so much more than just coffee. Coffee made from Nestle. Coffee's perfect made. I've got a headache. I need to get rid of it fast. The moment of choice. Tylenol or Advil? Advil liquid gels work faster, stronger, better than Tylenol on tough pain. For better headache relief, advance to Advil. Athletes sweat. They lose more than just water. Gatorade is proven to replenish and rehydrate athletes better than water. Gatorade. Is it in you? Sunday for the first time on network television. It's an amazing journey to a lost empire. Welcome to Atlantis. But when they find this world... You do swim. Oh, I swim pretty girl. We're pretty good. The adventure becomes greater than ever. We're gonna rescue the princess. We're gonna save Atlantis, ABC Sunday, 7, 6 Central. Over's early bird sale. For the next 10 days, 200 pools, 100 spas, and 100 bars. All priced at early bird savings. For example, complete pool packages are priced from just $8.99. Plus, we'll install any size pool for only $99. 10 luxury spas are priced from $15.99. And no more than $39.99. Five big spas are priced under $29.99. Our best-selling bar is only $3.88. Bar stools from $19. We'll beat any deal on a comparable pool or spa by $200. Guaranteed only at Clover. Providing services and programs for our hurting neighbors for over 50 years, your Open Door Mission is taking pride in Rochester. If you're trained in CPR and the use of an AED, you can save a life with Shock for Life. Call 721-7114 or visit shockforlife.org. April is Suzuki Blowout Month at Marketplace. Save thousands in discounts and rebates, all backed by our 100,000-mile warranty. Marketplace, West Henrietta Road. Watch for New Source 13 weather alerts. Brought to you by Isaac Heating and Air Conditioning. When you need us, we'll be there. In upstate New York, our weather can vary dramatically from one location to another. New Source 13 Live Neighborhood Weather is the only system in town that can pinpoint up to the second weather conditions across our entire area. You'll get the most complete weather picture from Live Neighborhood Weather only on WOKR News Source 13. Turn to News Source 13 for all the latest developments in the war with Iraq. You all remember uh, Boris Yeltsin? Uh, I mean, he was the, uh, what was he? He was the head of Russia. Uh, he was a, a world leader. And he was also a ladies' man. <laughs> and now President Yeltsin, acting in a very statesmanlike and dignified way. Let us <laughs> He's a hands-on president. <laughs> now, it's no secret that George Herbert Bush, uh, the ex-president, uh, has a pretty high profile. I mean, after all, the man's been, uh, been president, he's been vice president, governor, CIA chief. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And you know what? All of that means absolutely nothing to this uh, little grade school kid. Uh, he's a student somewhere in Texas. Check this out. Um, because people, it's called the swamp thing. Some people swim in the creeks because there, there are nowhere else. There is nowhere else. Are you else. really the president? Yeah. 
Yeah. Didn't you know that? Don't you think I was a pretending guy? <laughs> Did you? Did you really think that? I, well, heck, how can I prove it to you? I don't have any ID. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I got an ID. There's my driver's license. See what that says? B U S H. Bush George. George Herbert. So you're the president. Okay? Yeah. Is that proof it with my driver's license? Would you accept American Express card? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I'll tell you how I can prove it. There's a great big black limousine car out there. This for, oh, here's a way to do it. There. That's an autograph. And you can take it home to your mom. You just said we can't take autographs. Well, you shouldn't ask one, but I gave it to her. Just tell her I gave it to her. Now, here are the two most powerful men in the world with a powerful case of the giggles. <laughs> President Clinton is laughing because the translator is missing the meaning of Boris Yeltsin's words. Well, now for the first time, I can tell you that you're a disaster. Be <laughs> sure you get the right attribution there. <laughs> When certain countries make the headlines, it's uh, really no fun for news people. For example, the nation of Azerbaijan. The people of uh, Muslim Azerbaijan attack Christian Armenian. In battle scarred Azerbaijan. Word, that's a bad one. Lesson number one. If you're interviewed outside, use plenty of hairspray. Uh, well, of course, you know, I think he was elected in 1940 when he first went in. Uh, I think it was his person and personality. Democrats voted for him as well as, uh, as Republicans. Now, here's another hazard of an outdoor location. An overly friendly dog. Okay, all right. And uh, that was the <laughs> to the afternoon. And uh, to the east of uh, Sioux City, around the Iowa part of our viewing area, hottest temperature. <laughs> <laughs> 69 degrees. Okay, folks, if you lost a pit bull dog, you might want to come up to Channel 4. He seems very friendly, but at this point, he's a little rambunctious, and he is having a lot of fun. Okay, Pooch. Stacy, our camera person, named her Martin, so we're going to try to get her away from me right now. Okay, Pooch, it's okay. Temperatures, though, around the Iowa viewing area. He's a hot fellow right now. 93, the hot spot of the fire department in Cherokee. Otherwise, temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. Quite a night here in the backyard. I'm starting to lose my breath from all of this. Now, here's reporter Dave Lopez. He's out on a remote in Los Angeles, and he has a story to tell, and he's, he's all prepared to deliver it, but no matter how skilled a reporter is, and Dave is certainly skilled, you are always at the mercy of the machines. One man in particular here in Santa Ana knows full well the story, and he has lived it, and he knows how these immigrants feel. Now, at this point, Dave is expecting the videotape to roll. We don't have the tape ready, but I can tell you the tape will comes from a man named Jose Vargas, and I'll just go at the whim of the desk. You can tell me, we, we do have the tape. Okay, this is a tape from one man's viewpoint. Well, we still don't have that tape, I understand. So uh, the man's name is Jose Vargas, who is a police officer, who also was an und... We do have the tape now? I'm just at the mercy of the booth. Do we have the tape or not? I'm sorry, I, I, I assume we do not have the tape. We don't have the tape. All right, let me explain to you the story. For, again, we'll try it one more time. Jose Vargas is a man who works. We do have the tape. Let's go to the tape. No tape. Okay. Now, off camera, there's a group of uh, pranksters tossing snowballs. On any rally in the world. We're on the Col de Chirini, 5,000 feet up in the French Alps. It's midnight, and there are 6,000 people here. <laughs> And, of course, we have what's the highlight of just about every New Year's Eve party, the fun streamer, which Tina shot at the camera, and I'm going to attempt to do right now. <laughs> As you can see, they're not physical. <laughs> 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 
Well, and one last one for you, Quincy. Uh, former football player, hopefully down the line, you think maybe uh, if you develop well enough, could be a two-sport guy. Yeah, you know, I'm right now... I'm now what you're watching is one of those uh, pre-game interviews, you know, during batting practice, uh, when the baseballs are flying through the air. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's another jewel. Uh, this sports anchor is just about to start his report when he sees a buddy of his trip kind of awkwardly off camera somewhere. Anyway, uh, to say our man found this funny is a, uh, it is a true understatement. I mean, I've never, ever seen anybody break up <laughs> this hard. Watch. Whoa. His friend has just tripped. Now, in a moment, you'll see him run across the screen. There he goes. Well, he's got it now. Eric, we can't. Okay, here we go. Third time's the charm. He's in control. Okay. Okay. Come on, Richard, you can do it. <laughs> you do look a little goofy. Kenny has is the job. <laughs> That's a good one. There's a lot more to come up. Come on back. Next, hilarious bloopers from Carol Burnett and her cast. And a special visit from Vicki Lawrence's favorite parent, Mama. So, uh, are you telling us, Mr. Billy? Mr. Billy. That you have found something that you agree with your mom's own? That is correct, Senator. And what would that be? Checks. We like it, and our moms like that we like it. Even without the marshmallow puffs and bright colors, you'll happily eat checks? That is correct, Senator. Did you do realize that checks is low in sugar? Did you know that? No what? There's one cereal they like that you want them to like. Checks. Everyone's on the same square. Who voted for these guys? Not me. Introducing new three-in-one pillar candles from Glade. Starlit Garden has three individual fragrance layers. Moonflower, Lemon Lily, and Jade Orchid. Each designed to blend beautifully from one scent to the next. So you can enjoy three spellbinding fragrances in one enchanting candle. New Glade three-in-one candles. Because three scents are better than one. A blotch, a rough spot, a few dry patches. They stand between you and a healthy, radiant skin tone. But now there's Vaseline Healthy Body Complexion, a new lotion with Vaseline moisturizers, alpha hydroxy, and multivitamins. It works while you moisturize to help make the bad spots disappear. For more radiant skin tone all over, stick with new Vaseline Healthy Body Complexion. If you want your little fella to grow up big and strong, he's gonna need the right nutrition. Just like me. If you're concerned your child isn't getting adequate nutrition, ask your doctor about Pediasure. 
a source of complete balanced nutrition that tastes great. Pediasure. These are America's mean streets, where the truth is heard. And now there's a new rapper in town, a plain white rapper. Y'all got guns, makes me want to run. I ain't having no fun. I feel like I'm a hot dog and y'all be the fun. Jamie Kennedy, Tay Diggs, Anthony Anderson, Regina Hall, and Snoop Dogg. Do a little. That little white rat ain't got nothing on me. Pound it. Malibu's Most Wanted, rated PG-13. I'm Tim. Starts April 18th. Puppies have special needs. That's why Purina Puppy Chow is packed with high-quality protein sources, now including egg, so he can keep on amazing you year after year. It's got to be the Puppy Chow. Purina Puppy Chow brand. Tuesday, after John Ritter's co-workers dump on him, he'll learn how to get revenge from the master. I knew you would come, Father. A new eight simple rules. Then, how is Jim's wife discovering his dirty little secrets? What a delicious little twist to our story. A new According to Jim, part of a full hour. Then, the LA Times calls the new hit comedy Lost at Home Touching, a sweet sitcom. What can I do to make your day a little easier? Oh my God, here come tears. It all starts 8, 7 Central, ABC Tuesday. You know, people always say to me, aren't you ever going to run out of bloopers? No, there is a never-ending supply from news, from sports, from situation comedies, from movies, wherever. We went to a real good friend to tell us uh, a little bit about this particular set of bloopers. Please welcome Mama from Mama's Family and The Carol Burnett Show. <laughs> Mama, I must say you are looking remarkably well. How are you uh, coping with the challenge of growing old? Same way you are, old man. I'm faking it. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know, you really do need to drop the oldest living teenager crap, Dick. I mean, am I right? Last time he had a pimple, Coolidge was in office. Uh, 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 be that as it may, uh, uh, what about your bloopers? What about my bloopers? <laughs> you brought them with you, didn't you? Well, yes, I brought them, Dick. They go everywhere with me. Well, good. Can we see uh, Harvey Corman's bloopers, too? considered assisted living. <laughs> Never mind that. We have some great bloopers from Mama's Family and the Carol Burnett Show. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Those kind of bloopers you can see. <laughs> this first one is from Carol's show, and it features uh, Carol, Harvey Corman, and you, as a matter of fact. you have any thoughts on uh, Harvey and Carol? Well, their combined weight is over 250 pounds. <laughs> How do you know that? I've been carrying them for years. It's just moving back the number of spaces that I moved him for. She's well, right. How many spaces did you move it? Well, how the hell should I know? <laughs> you mean you don't remember how many spaces you moved that thing just a second ago? Well, I guess I'm just too stupid ever to grab the god darn dice up some <laughs> questions and answers. <laughs> now, one thing you have to say about Carol is that uh, she's got great timing. I do have to say that. It's in my contract. <laughs> but in this next blooper, she, uh, she actually misses a word. She is supposed to say water spots, but she forgets the word water. Well, you know, Dick, she is getting up there in years. <laughs> for to set up housekeeping in here. Oh, they're just spots from a dishwasher. Spots is, spots is more like it. Oh, uh, well, they're washed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called setting up the joke, Carol. It's all right, you've been well, That's Betty White backing out. 
Go back, call out the whoopee squad for me. Did you notice I was not on stage? <laughs> If she had been, it would have been worse. <laughs> now, one of the reasons, Carolyn, you have such great bloopers is she finds you so funny. Well, she's got great taste. <laughs> of course. Now, in this next blooper, you make her laugh so hard she uh, disguises it by, well, trying to make it a part of the sketch. Yep. I got two words for you, Carol. Nice try. <laughs> Well, Mama. <laughs> How are you? Fine. How are your feet? <laughs> Better. I love them feet. I wish you had them. <laughs> again. Now, here's another classic that we have that uh, actually has nothing to do with Mama's family, and it features a lady named Vicki Lawrence. I know Vicki Lawrence, and she ain't no lady. <laughs> well, in this particular blooper, Vicki has to read from, uh, you know, a, a card like this, a, a cue card. Yeah, or in Vicki's case, it's an idiot card. <laughs> well, you know, Everybody has to do one of those station promos, and in this case, it's for station KMOT. Uh, only off camera, she read it as one word, kmot, and uh, that really cracks her up. The woman is easily amused. <laughs> oh, well, watch her try to get through this one. You know, I've seen this clip, and it's very funny, Dick. It goes on forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Frankly, the woman had an easier time getting through menopause. <laughs> From all of us... <laughs> From all of us at KMOT TV and the Vicky Show. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well. I got by it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh dear. This is awful. <laughs> From all of us at KMOT TV in the video. <laughs> it was doing really well, too. I thought I had it that time. Three, two. From all of us at KMOT TV in the video. <laughs> She's got it now. KMOT TV and the Vicky Show. May your holidays be filled with special people and warm memories. Now that's the director playing sound effects. I know, and I was talking as fast as I could. From all of us at KMOT TV and the Vicky Show, may your holidays be filled with special people and warm <laughs> From all of us at KMOT TV and the Vicky Show, may your holidays be filled with special people and warm memories. 
Absolutely yeah. pitiful. Oh, she had a lot of trouble with that one. Well, she's adorable. For heaven's sake, you can't expect her to be smart, too. Mama, will you come back and visit with us again? I'll come back and visit you again, Dick, but I'm going to tell you something. Next time, you're going to pay for the airfare, you yep, cheap yep. son of a bitch. <laughs> He had me come as he wants somebody here. It was older than he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloopers, there's still more to come for sure. Coming up, we find out how Oprah Winfrey spends her New Year's Eve, and the boxing kangaroo goes out of control. Only new Oust air sanitizer kills odor-causing bacteria in the air. I thought Lysol was an air sanitizer. It's true. Lysol works on surfaces, but it's not meant for the air. Only Oust air sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of odor-causing bacteria in the air. Oust is an air sanitizer. It doesn't just cover up the odors. It eliminates them. Spray the Oust spray. And it eliminates whatever odor there was. It smells really clean. I think it's great. Get odor-causing bacteria out with new Oust air sanitizer. S.C. Johnson, a family company. I love it. I usually break it into pieces. That way, you know, you trick your mind into thinking there's more than there actually is. It's a good feeling. It's like, uh, I don't know, like getting a big hug from somebody you haven't seen in a long time. That's what Hershey feels like to me. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's a commitment. A commitment to having the lowest possible prices every day and not just a promise. It's the assurance of a price protection guarantee. It's a reminder of just how smart you really are. It's a little extra change in your pocket and the know-how to make every dollar work. It's more than a store. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Time game. Just peel, reveal for a chance to win great prizes like drive time and cash time. What time is it? Winning time! No, what time is it? We've got practice. practice. ABC Wednesday on a brand new My Wife and Kids. Damon's busted. Busted? When his wife finds a picture of an old girlfriend. Relax, maybe I overlooked it. How you gonna overlook these? A brand new My Wife and Kids. Then watch George Lopez. And a brand new Bachelor with 15 women. Three dream dates. Let the backstabbing begin. She's a great girl, but that doesn't mean that she's a great girl for you. Watch a brand new Bachelor after a new My Wife and Kids and George Lopez, ABC Wednesday. Possibly choose who to help in our community. Our children big and small. Our families, our elderly, our disabled. The good news is you don't have to choose. By giving to United Way and checking the community fund box on your pledge form, you can help them all. Now is the time to give the United Way. Now is the time to take care of our own. The unforgettable phenomenon meets the ultimate thrill. The all-new Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. Five bikers racing for their lives in the globe of death. And the non-stop action soars to a fiery finale with Bailey's Comet. WOKR wants you to get tickets for $10 to WOKR night Wednesday, May 7th. Tickets are on sale now at the box office, Ticketmaster, or call to charge by phone. The greatest show on earth. Playing Blue Cross Arena May 7th through 11th. Rich and powerful insurance companies often attempt to severely limit the rights of accident victims. When they are successful, the cost of the victim's disability and rehabilitation falls upon all of us, the taxpayers. If you are ever injured, your choice of law firms is critical. By successfully fighting for our clients against insurance companies, Salino & Barnes has become one of America's largest personal injury firms. Call us. We'd be honored to fight for you. say that time heals all wounds, but for a veteran facing a lengthy hospital stay, time can also mean loneliness and boredom. That's why Help Hospitalize Veterans distributes arts and craft kits to VA hospitals throughout the U.S. 
These kits provide time-fulfilling activities and effective therapy. They tell our veterans that we care about them. To learn more or locate a hospital where you can volunteer, call Help Hospitalize Veterans at 1-888-567-VETS. Of us have heard about boxing kangaroos. Well, you're about to see a real one. He's appearing on a kid show where the main character is a mascot named Marty. And as you'll see, uh, this particular kangaroo is it's, it's sort of branching out. He's going from uh, boxing to wrestling. <laughs> now that's Ray the kangaroo, and the big yellow mascot is Marty. <laughs> Watch out, Marty. In some areas, they're overpopulated, but it's. Oh. Now, for some reason or other, Ray the kangaroo has taken an instant dislike to Marty the mascot, and I'm pretty sure Marty feels the same way about Ray the kangaroo. Come over here. Marty. Oh, Marty. All right, break it up, boys. No clinching, no biting. Please, please, please. <laughs> Marty, go over and sit down with Dixie. You're only a trouble. Oh, <laughs> well, let's go. His trainer has Ray calmed down, but then Ray sees Martin. Easy, Ray. Inside that fake head is a real head. The winner and still champion, Ray the Kangaroo. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, maybe Marty the mascot can sue Ray, you know, uh, take him to kangaroo court. <laughs> now, you are about to see one of the most requested bloopers of all time. It happened on a children's show called Willie the Whistle. Now, Willie's gimmick was that he only spoke through one of those, you know, those little bird whistles that you hit inside your mouth. Now, that's, that's all well and good with normal guests, but when your guest is a 20-foot python, that is nothing to whistle about. <laughs> that's her skin. When they grow, they get too big for their skin. They have to shed it, and a new one's grown in under it. That's why she's such a nice, bright color, because that's all new skin. Isn't she though? Is her tongue sticking out at you? Down around the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now the off-camera announcer's about to chime in to help Willie uh, end the show. <laughs> right, Willie. This must be the end. We'll see. You. We'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Bye bye now. All right, come on, Slim. Oh, God, you hold this one a minute. <laughs> biggest guest, I've met some big names in my time, and this is the biggest one. It's Judy, a very special elephant. I'll tell you about her in a minute. The smallest of our guests will be a tiny South American cat. There goes my ladder. Uh, a cat in need of a name. Also with me tonight is Granada's original animal expert, Desmond Morris, who'll be talking about the early days of Granada and that very popular uh, animal program, Zoo Time. That was the music from it, Peter and the Wolf, at the beginning of the program. Hello, there goes my notes. The program tonight is something of a triple celebration. A quadruple celebration, because we're celebrating our 25th birthday. <laughs> All right, now, hang on. Prepare yourself. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's a local morning interview show. Uh, the reporter is uh, Stephanie Schuler. She's talking with Dustin Hoffman. And for a lot of years now, Dustin has been a physical fitness devotee. He is in terrific shape. As a matter of fact, the interviewer describes him as cut. Now, the trouble is, Dustin's never heard the word cut used to describe well-defined muscles before. And uh, 
it's, it's a little strange what happens to this. It's turned this interview into a classic. Okay, in this film, you're very cut. Cut? You're very cut. You were cut. Oh, oh, is that a word? Yes. Shelly? Yes. Write down cut. I got, I got to ask my 16-year-old. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am very cut. It meant something different when I was a kid. <laughs> Especially if you were Jewish. <laughs> I am very cut. You know, I thought I got too cut, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Can I finish my question? Yes, cut, cut, I'm cut. She's telling me I'm, I'm cut, but... No, I'm cut. Go ahead. No, I was just noticing. I am cut. The pike you have. Yes. The what? The, the pike? <laughs> <laughs> That's what got cut. It's my pike that got cut. I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> they cut my... They cut our pikes. <laughs> Go ahead. I never knew it was called a pike. I always called mine a bass. But <laughs> Some have purchased. <laughs> but tell me about yes, my go ahead. I'm God, I gotta write down pike for shit. <laughs> yes. It's always a memorable experience when uh, anybody's lucky enough to guest on the Oprah Winfrey show. And uh, one of the times I was a guest, it was, I mean, this was truly memorable because uh, of this. The usually unflappable Oprah became uh, very, there's nothing like a good laugh and we got more coming right up here on Bloopers. When we return, we'll have our grand finale blooper featuring Mr. Rogers, as you've never seen him before. your little brother that <laughs> you're gonna break your neck in those finish your homework now I'm sure you love them in spite of it all here's a new little way to show it introducing new pasta roni homestyle deluxe the only side dish that comes with its own tasty breadcrumb topping new from pasta roni a little love on the side there's nothing like a great night's sleep. I can get an early start in the morning and go out and do something just for me. It's a really good feeling. If you sometimes have trouble sleeping but worry about taking something, try Tylenol PM. It stops your pain and eases you into a restful night's sleep so you can wake up refreshed. Come on, honey, it's time to get up. I love my Tylenol PM. When you contact a REMAX agent to help you buy or sell a home, you expect service that's a little out of the ordinary. After all, REMAX agents average more experience and more sales than other agents. So the next time you need outstanding real estate service, call REMAX and watch a spring into action. REMAX. Outstanding agents. Outstanding results. Mom? Where do salads come from? Wendy's? No. Really? Our garden sensation salads are so full of greens and fresh vegetables, you won't believe they're from Wendy's. Well, when a chicken and a mandarin orange love each other very much, they make a salad. No, they don't. When athletes sweat, they lose more than just water. Gatorade is proven to replenish and rehydrate athletes better than water. Gatorade. Is it in you? Next, it's all coming down to the moment when we unveil the sexiest man and sexiest woman in America. What do you think? Do you think I'm hot? Are you hot? The two-hour finale, ABC Next. This workaholic dad is trying to reconnect with his family. Hey, Will, where's mom? Where's mom? That's hilarious. He's just not sure how. What can I do to make your day a little easier? What? If Rachel gives you something to do and you do it right, do you know what you get? More stuff to do. The hit comedy Lost at Home after an hour of According to Jim, ABC Tuesday. 
Bets of our world brought home to you. News Source 13. We've had some good laughs tonight, but don't, don't go anywhere. We have one choice when we save for you. This last one. Take a look. Oh, there's a great Fred Rogers who's given us so many wonderful hours of television. Now, See here's that? an unforgettable blooper as he tries to set up a very simple pop-up teepee. Watch out, Fred. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Of course, a teepee is a real home for some people. Yeah. Can you say difficult? Let's <laughs> see how this works. <laughs> oh, I don't think this one's pulling out right there. Mr. Rogers is a very patient man. <laughs> helps to have two people to put these up. <laughs> Let me try it once more. It may be a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but it's a pretty rough day for Mr. Rogers. <laughs> We've shared a couple of laughs tonight, some classic bloopers on the way. We have more the next time. We'll see you then. For now, Dick Clark. So long. <laughs>